Well, good morning. Welcome back to another Clayton Schick Outdoors video camping at Rowan's Ravine Park in Saskatchewan, Canada. This is day four already. I'm making some bacon right now. The plan was is to get out early today and then come back and make breakfast. So we woke up, it was still super, super windy. So we changed our plans a little bit to making breakfast first. Cindy's gonna have a shower. And then once the winds are supposed to come down or they are supposed to come down just a little bit, then we're gonna sneak out for some fishing. So right now on the menu, I don't do the eggs thing. I don't really do breakfast too, but since Cindy is here, we're gonna have bacon, like I said, and eggs, or she's gonna have eggs. And we have some grapes and some muffins. And then I'll probably have one of my normal Nutrigrain bars or something like that for a, my breakfast thing. Usually eating breakfast on the boat sometime, having orange juice, they keep orange juice in the boat like all the time. So that'll probably be the plan, brekkie first. And then we'll be trying to hit the lake. It's still windy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably be out there, but we don't wanna put Cindy through that because, well, just not fun, no fun. I may not eat eggs, but I can cook them, believe it or not. I've just been switching the pan back and forth here, trying to take the eggs just off a little bit of heat, put them on this side, the bacon on that side. This is the only burner that's going right now. These little stoves though, pretty handy. I've used this a few times already. Okay, the wind has started to calm down. Got the boat loaded. Cindy's grabbing a few other things. We're gonna head out for the, well, it's still a little windy. Not bad though, way calmer than before. We're gonna head out for most of the day, go fishing. The better the fishing is, the longer we stay. And of course, we don't get chased off by any of the thunderstorms that they're predicting and whatnot too throughout the day. But even if that comes up, we gotta head to shore for a bit on a beach or whatever and wait it out. We both got good rain gear. Yeah, on the water. First some ice from the GNS store though too, which we went into the last video. Almost on the water. Oakley Dokley, we're out on the water. It's beautiful out right now, like the wind's calmed down. It's just a nice little walleye chop, cloud cover. If I was a betting man, I'd bet on some good fishing, but that doesn't always make a guarantee. Jeez, dropped right down on top of that fish. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to lift it. He hit it as soon as I hit the bottom. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe supper. Oh, it's the perfect supper fish. <laughs> one of the big goals right now was to catch one fish for a catch and cook later in the day. And we just accomplished that. The wind kind of picked up a little bit, then it died down a little bit. Now it's raining. Cindy's been hiding under the blanket. I don't blame her. I thought about joining her at some point, but at least we got something. Well, we are off the water quick fishing. So I apologize. There isn't much fishing in this video either, but that's okay, right? We're not here just for the fishing. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up early though and go on my own. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. I'll nap. She said she'll nap. So I'm gonna get up early in the morning, get out on my own super early and have uh, maybe even two sessions tomorrow. I don't know, morning, afternoon, I'm not sure yet, but look at this beautiful view at the park. I wanted to put Cindy on that thing there and bounce her off of it, but she wouldn't let me. <laughs> I bet she could have. I'd fling her a long ways. Beautiful, beautiful. That's the other side of the beach I was talking about in the video before that people use as well, except for it wasn't there the day we were there because there's a hard south wind pushing up against it. And then this is like a little uh, thing here for all the, the kids to participate on and play on. My battery's going dead on the camera here. So I'll tell you what we're doing right now real quick. We're headed over to the Mama's Bear Mama's, Mama's Bear Den, Mama's, Mama's Bear Den, something like that, yeah. for a burger or some food and enjoy it. I was there the other day and it was unreal. We made it inside. Unfortunately, the kitchen's closed, so no Bannock Burger, but I'm pretty good with what they have here. Taco salad and Cindy's having a chicken Caesar. Like, uh, I'll, I'll take this. I was really looking for the Bannock Burger, I'm not gonna lie, but this looks, this looks really good. Yummy. Well. Like I said, not a Bannock burger, but still very good. Probably better for us right now, I'm sure. I feel better, definitely. I don't feel like a bloated animal. Beautiful, 
But we walked. Yeah, we walked. We're walking back too. Are you gonna carry me back? No. Oh well. We're going back to the campsite for some Yardzy. Yes, I know. Not Yahtzee. It's called Yardzy. It's a Cindy special. And uh, later yet this evening, I'm going to cook that walleye up from the day and show you a cool little bake. One of my favorite honey, honey mustard dill bakes. So that'll be our evening. And then maybe once the clouds go away, if they do, we'll catch a beautiful sunset or something. Right now, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any sunset though. Here's some of the areas of the campground area I haven't showed yet. These are for, these are all like for day usages. So you can come here and have a fire and a picnic. And then you got the beach obviously right there. So pretty convenient. I would guess it's probably pretty busy on the weekends. So if you want to be like me, come midweek so you can have the place to yourself. And then, yeah, okay. So I think that answers our questions. That yeah. park out there, there, that water park, it's called Wild Waves Water Park. Let's go check the signs out here. So they have here the Wild Waves Water Park. A couple of the rules and the prices and stuff like that, $15 per hour. But if you're here earlier in the day, or like I said, if you're like me, mid week, $10 per hour. I'm sure they'll cut you some deals. You never know if there's nobody there. Looks pretty cool though. Looks fun. Back at the campsite, playing some Yardsy and uh, Cindy's second throw. And look at this, her first throw. She's got two more. She's got four sixes. No pressure. One more for a Yahtzee. That's all you need. Oh it, my it, God, it was. It was. Your was. No, your. We can do. We can do a video replay. But you hit that one. But that's a six. Yardsy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Yardsy. So, Sunny has this game. Throws. Two throws. She got Yardsy. This, this is my golf revenge, maybe. Yeah. Last night I beat her in the mini golf. Tonight it's Yardsy, and she just gets a. Yardsy. So this is, where'd you buy this? Like Esterhazy or something like that? Yard Yahtzee? See what it goes? Yard Yahtzee? I don't know where she got it, but it's Yahtzee, it. but with like big blocks. Like crazy. Like, look at this. Costs like $900. Okay, $800. Five blocks. I'm up right now. I'm not losing yet. My first row got a full house, but we're going to play some Yardsy here and uh, we'll see who's the champion. I got crushed in Yardsy. It's okay, won the mini golf. She won the Yardsy. I don't know what's next for our next competition, but we'll figure out something. But right now, Cindy is gonna help uh, film for me here. I'm gonna do a little uh, cook of the catch, the one walleye that I caught today. This is what we're doing. One of my favorite walleye bakes. It is a honey mustard dill bake. These are the ingredients you'll need. Slice onions, slice lemon, a half a lemon, dill weed, mustard, honey, tin foil, flour, and of course the fish. And believe it or not, that can of beans in the corner holding the tin foil will also come into play here in a little bit. So I'll sit down on the other end. Did I miss something? Butter. I think I said the butter. Oh. I need butter. I might not have. Maybe not. If I didn't say the butter, butter. So I'll sit down on the other side now and Cindy will film as I make it all. First step, some butter. You're just gonna layer it on the bottom of the pan. Or the tin foil, I should say here. Healthy, healthy amount. It's enough to cover the whole fish, basically. Okay, and this is a pretty important step here. That's all the butter you'll need. You take some onions and you put them on the bottom here. This is going to help keep your fish from burning at all because it's going to create a little bed for your fish. So I have a little small walleye, embarrassing I know, but we don't need much. So we have that. So now we'll take our walleye. We'll put it back into this bag right here and then we're going to take our 
lemon that we did the half cut. I'm going to squeeze it in there. This lemon juice will create uh, some moisture for the flour to stick to, basically. I only have one little walleye, so half a lemon will be plenty. I'll shake that up there a little bit. I'm going to take some flour then. We'll add our flour into the bag. I see I got a cut in the bag there, so I'll be careful with that one. Shake that up a little bit. I'm going to take our floured walleye and we're going to lay it right. We're going to lay it right on top of the onions there that we have. One piece one way. What a pathetic little piece of walleye, Clayton. And one this way. Okay. Then we will take our dill weed here. We've got nice all floured hands. Dill weed. We're going to get a good amount right on top of the fish here. Sometimes you can take the dillweed and put it in amongst your butter too, which will turn out pretty good. Dillweed, and then a little bit of mustard, just kind of all over the top here. Not a lot. You don't want the mustard to have an overpowering taste. And then honey. And probably about double the amount of the mustard that you put on, basically. Okay. And then you'll take some more onions here. And you'll put the onions along the top. And you'll take your other piece of tin foil that you have had ready. You put it on the top of the fish. And this is where I said the can of beans really comes into play here. Take your fold, start to fold it over here. And then you take your can of beans and go along here. It's a really good seal. You need a good seal. Take the other side. Same thing. Okay, again, get a good seal. Obviously, you don't have to use beans. You can use whatever you want. It is recording, right? It says record on it. That's good. Third side. Seal. And the fourth side seal now this will only take about 12 to 14 minutes to cook you can cook it on the butter side for probably like say eight nine minutes and then flip it over just to finish it for a little bit got the fire already going you don't want too much flame you want more coals than anything but we'll get it on the corner there and we will cook it and i'll show you the i will show you the end results easy super simple one we had it on for i think about 12 minutes a small piece of walleye you won't need much it's always a great way to open it too little slice here all the way around oh it smells good it's very hot and just peel the tinfoil back oh my don't you wish you liked fish honey yeah, oh, look at that that looks good bottom nice crispy there on the bottom part of it flaky finished there we go that is right there a little honey mustard dill walleye bake super simple as you saw nothing to it it's got an awesome taste so that will that will be the end of this video again i apologize not a lot of fishing but tomorrow I've got to go ahead to head out my own early morning. We're gonna put some fish in the Lumacraft again. Don't get me wrong, I've been enjoying the whole relaxing part of the camping too. We got a nice cozy setup here. The tent has been so hot. Today we finally took the tent and opened part of the side of it to get some airflow through there because it's been a sauna in there. But everything about this park has been so enjoyable so far. Got one more day feel like I've been here only for a day yet I've been here for four days it's just so much fun so okay giveaway time I'm just finishing up editing the video that you just currently watched or watching type of thing and I'm gonna do my giveaway here for the hat the CSO hat which is right here I will get it for you this is the hat here nice flex fit hat small mediums and larges and two jigging wraps and a frostbite tantrum is what i had said will be in the giveaway so what i'm going to do here 
I'm going to paste the URL right here. Pasted the URL to the video. We're gonna go get YouTube comments, 100 comments, 200 comments, 300, 400, 500, holy cow, 600, 620 unique commenters. Amazing. We're gonna hit the raffle and random winner. And as long as it is, the name comes up, as long as it says in the comment there, I made it this far, they will be the winner. So the winner of the little giveaway is, oh, Ian Preston. I made it this far, Clayton. The amount of videos you're pumping out is awesome. Question, when you're using Jigging Wrap, do you tend to drop anchor, spot lock on a specific location, or do you tend to let yourself drift a bit and try some different depths? You know what, Ian, I'll answer your question here at the same time. That's all gonna depend to what's going on in the situation. There's, if you're on say a little unique structure area, maybe you're gonna wanna try that one specific spot and you're gonna spot lock on it and anchor on it and you're gonna stay right there and wait for fish to pass through. Or maybe you're on like say a big mud flat where you're going to be drifting along and finding random fish throughout it type of thing. So it's, that's all gonna depend on the structure that you're fishing for the most part. I do both of them for sure. So Ian, get a hold of me through Facebook Messenger or Instagram direct messages. I will also comment on your, uh, your, your I'll reply to your comment here below to let you have one. Let's get your address, I'll get you that hat and the jigging wraps and the tantrum. I'll throw in a decal as well. We're gonna do more of these giveaways in the future. I apologize for the lack of fishing in the last two videos. There's more to come for sure. Just trying to get videos out as quick as possible. So thank you as always. Get inside? No, get outside.